If you're a stay-at-home mom, you do. You feel guilty, you feel like you don't contribute, but you're expected to do so much work that's not validated. But if you're a working mom, you feel guilty that you're not spending time with your kid and you're still, you're still physically doing a lot of work. That sounds so cheesy, like, oh, it's my best job in the world, but the hardest job. <laughs> Can you say hi guys? She's like, oh gosh, mom. Time for another video already. You say hi, do you see yourself? <laughs> <laughs> and that is the story of my life. For you mamas who have dogs, noisy dogs with babies, I feel for you. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Julia and this is Penelope and you just turned six months old yesterday and that's alice and roro in the back and we have one more our sweet quiet dog lil bill all righty so do you think mommy can keep this kind of short this time probably not huh okay so let's start off telling them do you want to tell them how you were such a good girl for your daddy today <laughs> okay so one thing since her being six months, it's been a rough month for her and a rough month for me, I'll be honest. Um, she was in a really good habit of napping, not necessarily um, specific times a day, it just depended on the day and what we were doing. But for the past, on and off this whole month, she goes through like week long phases, sometimes four to five day stretches where she will literally only nap maybe two, or three 20 minute little power naps and that's it where she used to take at least one solid two hour nap sometimes three so you're just changing i guess huh do you want to tell them and it's been really rough trying to get her to take a nap because she will get to a point mm -hmm, uh-huh i'm just being honest it's okay it's okay that you're having trouble napping but yeah so uh, this month I'm I think is a really big learning month for me I'm trying really hard to okay if she's tired and I'm trying my best to get her to nap and she's not napping I'm trying to just throw my hands up and say I'm okay I, I can't force it on her because it seems like that it seems like when I'm like no I need to get her down to take a nap is when it takes about two or three hours to get her napping and then also to get her down either in her bed or she still naps in her swing. Do you wanna show them what else you can do and then we'll get back to napping? So she is a professional roller now. Aren't you, Penny Poo Poo? She can flip flop from back to belly and from belly to back. What's wrong, sweet pea? She'll even do multiple rolls now too, where she'll just yeah. And she can turn like in a circle, but she can't go up and down yet. She's so close to crawling, but you're doing so good. You are. You're doing really good. Ah, yes, sweet girl. Yeah. So, <clears throat> oh my gosh, you guys. Oh gosh, I'm really washed out, but that's been a new thing this morning. You were sticking out your tongue at mommy and daddy, huh? Oh my gosh. Oh, it keeps getting all washed out. The most hilarious thing, guys. I will insert a clip of it right now. See your tongue. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Just grab that little tongue. <laughs> You're so funny. Let's see. <laughs> you got a little hair on there, huh? <laughs> Let's see. Again. <laughs> she's sticking out, turning away. <laughs> oh, pointy. So she's sticking her tongue out at me right now. Huh. So yeah, napping has been rough. Um, she's no. Oh, here, let me get you a toy. You want to play with this? But that's kind of where it's been a little rough for me is on days where she doesn't take a nap. Really, I don't really get a physical or mental break. Physical wise, I don't really get so tired, but mentally, 
it is so tiring having a baby sometimes especially when they're changing they're changing their cycle they're changing their she's learning new things i'm trying to learn her new things and figure out what she wants hey you doing good job I'm always anxious. Oh, am I doing the right thing? Am I babying her too much? Am I not babying her enough? So anyways, I've had a hard time on days where she doesn't nap because I just, by the end of the day, I'm, I'm so drained. Like, okay, I will be the first to admit, before having a baby, I totally was like, I don't really understand how hard it is to be a stay at home mom. Like you get to stay home with your baby, but I stand corrected. I was super ignorant. It, it's it's a lot of work being home with your baby all day. It's the best job in the world. Like that sounds so cheesy. Like, oh, it's my best job in the world, but the hardest job, but it really is true. And so at least for me, it's funny. So if you guys know who Rob, Rob, Rob Beauty Christie is, she's a beauty guru, but like a really humble down to earth beauty guru. But she just did a Q and A and she was talking about how she's always loved makeup. And now that it's her full time job, she still loves it. She still is so great grateful that her job is to play with makeup but it doesn't matter what you do you could love it it could be the best thing in the world once you start doing it 24 7 it can become work I don't know if that makes any kind of sense and I feel almost guilty for saying it like that because like I said I love being a mama you are the most precious baby in the whole wide world. Come here, do you just want to be held? It was such a long, hard journey to actually get her and have her in our arms, you know? So I hate even like bringing that up and talking like that because I just, I don't know, I am so grateful and I'm grateful that so far YouTube and doing my gravy live shopping parties, I've been making enough income to where Financially, I don't need to go back to work right right now. <laughs> so anyways, if you're watching this and are a stay-at-home mama, or even if you're a working mama, that's hard too. Like, I totally get it. Like, if you're a stay-at-home mom, you do. You feel guilty. You feel like you don't contribute, but you're expected to do so much work that's not validated. But if you're a working mom, you feel guilty that you're not spending time with your kid, and you're still, you're still physically doing a lot of work. So anyways, I think I'm make a separate video on that like this video if you green would want me to but I want to make a video on what it's like to be a stay-at-home mom I did do a vlog I'll pop it up in one of these corners um, which is what does a stay-at-home mom do all day kind of a day in my life if you want to see more of our daily routine check that out I'll link it in the description box below too but Anyways, you have been going back to sleeping through the night though, huh? She does that. I think she'll go through growth spurts and that's when she'll wake up kind of in the middle of the night at two or three to eat. And then that'll happen for a couple days in a row. And then all of a sudden, yeah. I think you have to poop too. I think your tummy is <laughs> showing them you're done, sweet girl. But then she'll go back to sleeping from about 10 to five or six in the morning. So you have been doing that, huh? It's been a little rough getting her to sleep at night as well. Like the other night, she was so tired, you guys. She had only napped a total of not even an hour all day long. So she was tired and she woke up from her last nap at about, I don't know, I think it was like five o'clock. And so by eight o'clock, she was so tired, rubbing her eyes, kind of getting that glazed look. And so I'm like, well, let me try to get her to bed. She didn't go down till 1030. You just, you fight your sleep. Oh my gosh, she has a mosquito bite on her nose. I don't know if you guys can see it. That's nothing, mosquitoes love her, my poor baby. But yeah, she is a professional sleep fighter, aren't you? Yes, you are. Speaking of fighters, so one thing she's always done oh, since she was about, I don't know, two months old is she likes to hit things. She likes to hit, she likes to kick, but recently more so she's really been liking to hit things or if she has a toy, she likes to bang things. So Jesse and I joke like, what if she's gonna be a UFC fighter? And so when she cries, Sometimes she sounds like a little goat. And so if you guys are familiar with UFC, a lot of the UFC fighters, they have their names, but then they have a nickname. And so we joke, we're like, oh, Penelope's gonna be 
Penelope the Billy Goat Zuniga. They're going to call you the Billy Goat. <laughs> so yeah, the rolling has just been like, she, she's on a roll. <laughs> One thing that has been a nice change is she can entertain herself um, a little more. Like, so what I'll do a lot of times, like if I have to fold laundry or do the dishes or fix myself something to eat, I'll put a blanket on the floor because we have all tile and she can lay there and play and entertain herself for a solid 20 to 30 minutes sometimes, which is really nice. So you've been able to do that. You like to play by yourself, but Literally a couple days ago, the separation anxiety has started. I forget what it's called. There's like a <coughs> official name for it in child development. But they say around six months is when babies start getting a little separation anxiety. So I've been trying to play peekaboo with her more often to teach her that just because you don't see something or just because you don't see me doesn't mean I'm not there. You're not by yourself, you know, but that's just a normal milestone, I guess, in child development. So yeah, if your baby's starting that play peekaboo is what they say to do and the other day actually yesterday I went to my grandma and aunt's house and this is the first time she had done this too um my aunt was holding her which she loves well we call her grandma ratchet huh but I went to go put stuff in the car and as soon as I walked out the door she cried and I was like oh no we're gonna play a lot of peekaboo huh Oh my gosh, another thing that's really funny that she does is when she's really overtired sometimes, she gets punchy and she cracks up laughing at everything. It's hilarious. I'll insert a video right now. It is so funny. Hi. 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 <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh. That's been kind of funny. Oh, and she has been saying little words. I'm not sure if she knows the context of them. Well, so she's been saying ha, like hi, because I say that a lot. Hi, hi, hi. So she has been saying that, and sometimes she does say that in context. Like if she wakes up from a nap and she sees the dog, sometimes she'll go ha. Or when she sees somebody, she'll go ha. Or if they say ha or hi to her, she'll go ha back. I have a really cute video. Yeah. I have a really cute video of her talking to my sister from yesterday. I'll insert that now. Say hi. 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 Say hi. It was so cute. She just wanted to talk up a storm with my sister. Huh. Aunt Sarah is the cool aunt, huh? And then she'll say mum or mum mum. I think I mentioned that in last month's update she was saying that. But again, I don't think she knows that I'm mum or mama. Which she's been doing that a little bit sometimes. If you say like, where's mommy or where's daddy or my tata, he has dementia. And so his thing is he'll repeat over and over and over again to her. Where's tata? Where's tata? Where's Tata? So she knows him, like she looks at him, huh? And she knows her name, Penelope. I thought your name. So that's kind of cool and new. Let's see, what else? Oh, food. So I know around six months is when they say to start introducing foods. 
I have tried to do that more if you guys watched my day in the life vlog that I was talking about earlier I did show me trying to feed her some baby food and she does that a lot so when I try to feed her baby food she gets really pissed that she cannot feed herself so I do like I let her grab the spoon and put it in her mouth but then once she's eaten all the food off and I try to take the spoon to put more food on there she gets pissed and then she'll just get so frustrated that she's just done eating so i need to try this my cousin suggested giving her her own spoon to hold on to while i'm feeding her yeah so we'll try that huh yeah no teeth yet she's been showing teething signs since she was almost three months old so that I'm kind of like, I have no idea what's going on with. But we have been having her try more foods. Like yesterday, she ate a banana. I was breaking off pieces of it and she was eating it. We went to my Nana's house the other day and she had mashed potatoes and some cranberry sauce. She does really like mashed potatoes. We went to um, my dad's house a couple weekends ago for dinner and he plopped a thing of mashed potatoes on her tray and she just smeared it everywhere she didn't put it in her mouth she i think she thought it was like a toy and then we also have oh i'll put a picture of what i'm talking about but it's like a net attached to a handle so it looks kind of like a net pacifier type thing but if you guys don't have one of those get one i'll link it down below so i'll do a section in the description box that says videos slash items mentioned in the order that i'm mentioning them i will link that it's freaking awesome my sister-in-law got it for us but you can put fruit in there all kinds of foods and they can suck on it and get the flavor but without getting the chunks so they won't be able to choke you know so we put steak in there which she loves the taste of meat huh we keep getting washed out girl because we're so pasty <laughs> you are so into that tongue it's hilarious but we put steak in there and she straight up loved it she sucked all the blood out and when we took the chunk of meat out it was like dry and gray <laughs> huh you love meat so yeah, that's kind of where she's at with food. I'm gonna keep trying to introduce new things. We've tried an avocado and she wasn't crazy about that. She kind of did what she normally does with the baby food. So we'll keep trying. I am still exclusively breastfeeding, which I think I'm gonna make a separate video on that as well. Cause I get a lot of questions about it and I just feel like it's something that it's hard and any tips or advice from other people is always helpful for me at least so i kind of want to pay it forward and do that for you guys maybe um let's see what else sweet pea oh my gosh you have where'd you get all these fuzzies everywhere oh that's kind of a funny thing so she loves mirrors she has a little plastic it's like a plastic mirror and that's her favorite toy <laughs> I joke, I'm like, you're your daddy's baby because Jesse's always looking at himself in the mirror. But yeah, you just love looking at yourself, huh? I would too if I was so cute like you. Are you done filming? You want to be put down? Oh, she can sit up by herself for a couple seconds and then she falls over. But yeah, I, I honestly can't think of anything else and she's kind of getting a little antsy so i will go ahead and insert any other videos that i've caught in this month is that a thing or an egg? are you guys best friends is that your friend oh that's oh. he's like oh gosh get her off of me <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna eat you. What do you taste like? You guys are so cute together. I say, hey. Oh. <laughs> be gentle. <laughs> you gotta be gentle. Ready, Penny Girl? <gasps> <laughs> you do it. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> Ready, Penny Girl? You like Chuck E. Cheese? You like it? Is that Chuck E. Cheese? <laughs> She's like, you're okay, dude. You're alright. You're alright. Staring at him. Do you like it? Those are mommy's favorite. No. If you're still watching this and are not yet subscribed, hit that button. We'd love for you to become a part of our family. Let's say bye. She's like, I'm done, mom. Catch you in our next video.